it's Faye, just BSA. This is the Tawny Tab, now on that'shershop.com, so you should grab it. That's all. Listen, Linda, every girl becomes a woman. Even though I was a late bloomer, there's nothing wrong with her. Also, by the way, I'm wearing the heart drop necklace. Made in South Korea, ATK gold dipped, serving. So in the previous video, you guys saw the old Faye, where she was a little mochi. The mochi stretched, and she's a little rice cake now. I started dating men. Boys. And I realized the power I held. So, I still have braces at this time. Her trashy little extensions. They needed some deep conditioning. <laughs> oh, my mom. Her hair was crazy. No one told her. Look at her little chunk glass. I look kind of creepy though. Like the red lips, the gummy smile. I have a very gummy smile. This is when I was starting to embrace my natural hair. Day before I was getting my braces out, I was actually cute with the snow cam. The timing could have been better. Before I started this journey of my glow up, these bands were gonna be gone. I don't wanna be kissing the one with my rubber bands in. <laughs> look at me embracing my pearly wants. In this, was the moment I knew I was gonna be changed forever. <laughs> I was still a pure girl, okay? On the previous video, remember seeing my old photos? You saw how my mouth had an issue with the closing the bite and my smile a little, a little too <laughs> jaw-like. I finally have a cute smile. She's thriving. Okay, so this is when I started <laughs> losing weight. I was like, oh, look at me and my pants that don't fit me anymore. I still have those and now I fit them a little too much. It's okay. I remember posting that photo. People were like, oh my God, hey, you look different. I was like, I know. So I never really worn a dress that was really fitted on me. And this was the first dress I actually didn't fit. I bought this dress from Urban Outfitters. They weren't really like chest inclusive. I had to wear a cardigan to hide the unzipped zipper. It's okay, no one noticed. The first time in my life ever feeling rejuvenation, rebirth. I went from this to this. And yes, I was on the dating apps at this time, okay, and she probably was no longer a child of God. <laughs> Follow my podcast if you want to hear about that story of how I lost my bakajukai. The mirror was a little slanted, so it made me look taller. After I posted that Snapchat, I was asked on a date. Horrible. I wasn't looking for trouble, though. It was not that kind of date. You know, we're chatting it up or whatever, and I'm like, I'm totally not feeling it. Probably not the best idea to invite, like, someone to your house for the first time. Before he left, he asked if I had anything for him to eat. Does it look like I'm a cafeteria over here? You know, like, something I could cook up and I was like I mean you can look find my chicken breast not my chicken breast but the chicken breast <laughs> he uses my wok burns the shit out of my wok like I had that girl soaking for days and we had to throw her away that is outcome of my life this thick of a layer of retard so when he asked to see me again I said no clearly you don't know how to cook a chicken breast why would I trust you with my <laughs> I was filming a zit sticker video. My hair was actually growing. I did put heat on it, but I just stopped the crazy colors. And finally, I saw something grow. And my hair, not in myself. She had to learn that the hard way, huh? The bigger the hoops, the bigger the poops. Fila's in right now. Everyone is wearing Fila. My family called them my ibuprofen shoes because they look like two chunky pills. Oh, we went back to the Landra Festival. Yes, we did. I went with a different vibe this time. I love the shit out of that cardigan. I loved it a little bit too much that I had to throw it away. Eventually, you do not want to know why I had to throw it away. Don't want to know. That's the story for the podcast. If you don't know, I have a podcast called Girl Gag. Adult mature content. You should totally listen to my podcast. <gasps> the girls are in town. Kenny and Whitney came First Halloween. Kenny and I have continued Halloween for three years now. Our little tradition. Although, last Halloween, we went to like a house party that consisted mainly of gays. It's so fun. We agreed on risky costumes. So I showed up like this. Did we have a wild time? Maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> as much as I look like confident and I'm trying to be that girl, I was so scared. I was behind Whitney. She was dragging my butt to the dance floor. I was like, it was my first ever like college bar kind of thing. Scared, anxious, a crybaby. I wanted to go home. I was like, no. So we ended up going home. <laughs> She's just a little scared cub inside. Wow, I do have curves. I swear that pink top was my go-to. I really thought I was doing something there. Faye, hey, you have the flattest wall. It's so embarrassing. Like I really thought I was carrying something back there. Shame. I could totally see old Faye in this photo. She was a confused little lady. Just trying to figure it out. Her heart was being pulled in multiple directions because of one man. These photos make me miss my old black hair. I had a crisis early last year, probably at my blondest like balayage. I went 180 real quick and I dyed my hair all black again because of these photos. <laughs> Let me tell you, when I went dark again, <laughs> I mean, my hair is dark, but pfft. <laughs> 
That was bad. Look at her, her Daniel Wellington watch. What happened to Daniel Wellington? Tummy was shrinking, girls were popping, ass is flat as ever. But I was feeling myself, not gonna lie, I became like super conceited during this like day because I was getting the attention. I really thought I was God's creation and no one can touch me. A holla turntables. I think I was too into myself. Oh, I'm ashamed. <laughs> I actually like this photo. It felt sexy in a t-shirt for once. But then I stopped wearing that t-shirt because it says sisters. I was going to New York for New Year's. I'm in this like fun, solo, explorative phase of my life. Where I was the most confident, most popular in my head to myself within the population of Faye. This was the popular girl. We had so much fun. However, I don't think I'll ever do a New Year's in New York again. We went out to the bars that night and tell me why this old man kept calling me Pocahontas. Okay, Christopher Columbus. And then during the countdown, me, Whitney, and our friend Lisa. It's Whitney's friend, but I claim her as my friend, <laughs> as I always do. There was a guy next to me and he literally came over for a kiss. And I was like, oh, it's was me. He's like, oh, I just think you wanted a cat, a little New Year's cat. And I was like, do I look like your daddy? Uh, that was a no for me. I will have to say this is probably one of my favorite Snapchat pics. The boys were in the DMs. But I was so sad because the one I wanted wasn't my dude. <laughs> you're sick of these jeans. I know. I've been told that. As an influencer, you're supposed to always have new outfits, but I stuck with the same pair of jeans. I would die in those pants if I had to. Now if you see these jeans, the rip has gone down to my calf. I was like 135 here. I was so hard on myself at that size. And you guys know that whole spiel. Everyone thinks I'm just addicted to this like weight thing. Maybe. Maybe not. Listen, Linda. I was just trying to find myself, honestly, and I was just so confused and lost, and I really let this one guy determine my worth. Everything you feel when you lose yourself to your first, but then, plot twist, I got into a relationship. Not with the guy I wanted. We were in a situation for like four months, and I called it quit. No more. This is when Asian baby girls got really trendy. I took it upon myself to make myself an Asian baby girl. We truly know I'm not one. I am Asian and I was a baby girl when I was like two. But the meaning behind an Asian baby girl is like when you're just like this hardcore tatter girl. Why are my eyebrows so wobbly? Like pick a direction, ma'am. Yes, hey guys, don't text me. It's cheesy. This outfit was from Lip Hop. So tiny. It does squeeze your gut. So don't believe everything you see on the internet. She's cute though. I went to Vegas. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you know how your style jeans be. They be like three sizes smaller. Eventually you realize don't let clothes define you. That's a really messy roller coaster. I love this blue set. I kept this outfit for almost two years before I could even wear it. I wear it one time for these photos and then like that was the death of it. I was a lip hop gal. Like I should have been a lip hop ambassador. I really like this outfit. Yes. This was on my birthday during quarantine. These are the same jeans in the beginning when I was losing the weight. This seems a little tighter. Again, it's so fine. Sometimes people forget that when you struggle with weight your whole life and how it fluctuates, it drives you on this roller coaster. You really can't center yourself to pull back and look at things in a bigger picture. And that, my dear, is called body dysmorphia. Bottoms were actually just spandex. And I just kind of pulled it up a little high so it looked like a swimwear bottom, but they weren't. <laughs> we were taking these photos on my balcony and my sister's like, do something else. You always pose the same. So I picked up this mosquito candle. <laughs> she really is basic, bro. See, look at these photos where I was just me. Old Faye was here all along. Of course she was. It kind of melts my heart seeing like the soft side of me fishing with my family. Not the Apple Watch. You fop. Girl, you know you pull those shorts way too high, you would get in a front wedgie. It looks like I'm wearing a romper, but I'm not. It looks like I have a booty, but I'm just popping my back. That's all. <laughs> oh, I messed up my ankle, but I was so cute. Although I was limping around for a whole month and a half, it was a cute patootie. Is this sponsored? I was sponsored for a hair waving tool, and I was like, let me just wear a bathing suit. And so I did. Okay, so this was another turning point in my little face. Although I was in a relationship, I just to get started on that. The chops were definitely coming back. I was wearing clothes that was a little bit too small for me still. And you can tell the rolls and the cookie dough was like popping. Literally, this was during quarantine. I'm gonna take a picture of the mask. Okay, babe. We know we get it. It's COVID. I did not love this photo. This dress was the same dress from Jisoo's dress, I think. I still posted it, but I hated it. My hair was smexy. And then I got broken up with. We mutually agree. Newly single. Two weeks later. So heartbroken, but I bought a house. She was sexy single sad again. <laughs> now I was entering the saga. Part two, if you must, of my whole face. This wasn't this wasn't on purpose. I was just so depressed. I could not eat. The only input and output during this time, tears, depression, anxiety, hatred, darkness. I'm so grateful I was forced to move into this house, which I signed the house and everything when I was still in a relationship, but I moved literally when we broke
broke up, even though that was like a huge staple of depression in my life, literally these evening walks healed me. I'm telling you, if you're sad, just go on a walk. It's free therapy. Walk with a snack. I'm not really sure what this outfit was. Um, I'm not liking it. I do like the background. I'm not liking this outfit though. And she's back on the dating apps. You best believe three months later, I was like, my I was thriving again. I was going to the gym like five days out of the week. Was I? I could never nowadays. <laughs> I need to cancel my membership. Again, I was trying to find my sugar daddy. She had no shame in her game. This outfit was so cute, except the only thing missing was my ass. You almost want to go under and just like help it. I was enjoying life again with my family and my friends. Completely over the douchebag I was with. That relationship, I have so much to say, but I won't do it in this video. But I have so much to say, follow my podcast. I could just see how free I am. And that's like the most beautiful part of going through a breakup is you really just reconnect and recenter all the focus back onto you in a very spiritual and emotional way it's probably like the best gift you can ever ask for my hair looks so good okay so good okay little booty i don't know what you're trying to do here but okay <laughs> I did really enjoy going to the drive range. It was so nice just to like swing all your anger onto this tiny little ball because it reminds me of you know just tiny little balls I mean, I got cute pics out of it too. She looks saggy here. Mommy milkers to the ground. I really like this stuff. I should wear more. That top was one of the tops I had to get rid of. My goal this summer is just to like dress up more. <laughs> Wipe her up. Little pretty who? Amish who? This is milf material. <laughs> when I'm a mom, like she's my goal. I want to look like her. Like that's her. I feel like I was maturing a little bit more put together. Outfits that fit my age. People are like, why are you dressed up on a Sunday? And I had to lie that I was doing brunch at my house. Like this. Very cute, dainty little daisy dress. I really thought I was doing something here. <laughs> Having confidence in those leggings, knowing you have nothing to offer. Show some love to the itty bitty booty community. Where are you at? I honestly think this is one of the most like naturally pretty photos I ever have. And it's literally the only photo I think I actually like look really pretty just as is. I'm kind of embarrassed because I wore this to like the pumpkin patch. Hence why I had to put on my niece's cardigan to cover up. Why would you wear this to a pumpkin patch? Okay, we're not going to the club. We're not going to the it's literally a bouncy house for kids and pumpkins. I got there and I was like, am I overdressed? <laughs> New Year's rolled around. All the boys were in the DM. I had this situation ship I was in, but he wouldn't make it official. So I dropped his ass and then I matched with Al. We were seeing each other at this point already. Yes, yes we were. So yeah, I copped a good one. Okay, it looks like I have a booty here. When I bent my leg that way, it just kind of popped my muffin top. You gotta keep them wanting. Halloween, second year anniversary. When in doubt, bunny ears. Okay, you caught me. I still wear the t-shirt, I just don't look like that anymore. I had to donate that shirt though. It was too tiny on me. <laughs> this was my second date with Al. So this is when corsets were really trendy. Leather jacket from Lip Hop. Too small, too small, too small now. I upgraded my phone case. Black pink phone case. I got my car! She's a Tessie girl. Probably do not recommend. <laughs> If you have anxiety about miles in terms of like battery. Besides that, I love it. It was just like so nice blonde. I'm working my way there again. Speaking of the devil, this was when I dyed my hair black. I guess it wasn't that bad, but that's because this outfit and this look just worked. Sexiest look out of all the horse faces, full faces. Like who knew all it took was a little sign. Gorge, her hair's gorge. It's the look. Future you in 10 years is gonna look back and be like, oh my gosh, she was so snatched. So you better live it. I hope you guys enjoyed reflecting on my photos with me and um, validating my small ass. Truly appreciate it. Also like this video if you think it's Alex's turn. While you're at it, make sure you check out thatshowshop.com. Until next time, I'm sending love. Even if you try, you wouldn't